Okay, it's Christmas Eve. I've moved into Lehman Weir, but I have to do a Christmas run. I have to go get all my presents, which are sitting in the frog and roast beef in Val Terenz. So this is my job for the day. I still haven't figured out how I'm supposed to get it back. Uh, I've brought a bag, but if it's not big enough, I suppose I'm going to have to carry it. Apparently, the, well, they're not there, but they are here. They're upstairs in the office, so I'm going to try and see if I can get in and get them. L'esprit des hommes, nous avons développé la vitesse pour nous enfermer en nous-mêmes. Notre savoir nous a fait devenir cyniques. Nous sommes inhumains à force d'intelligence. Nous ne ressentons pas assez et nous pensons beaucoup trop. Nous sommes trop mécanisés et nous manquons de tendresse. I'll go back and get them later, but this is not something you do every day. Taking, picking up your presents via skis and then taking them home via skis. <laughs> In the last video, I said I'd explain why my last post was late. Um, the reason why I want to do that is because I think what has happened in the last 72 hours uh, has been the most extraordinary experience I've ever had. Now, I, I can't show you scenery, I can't show you pictures or anything like that because A, I didn't have the time to do it and I don't think those type of things really, there's no way of me showing them basically. What I can show you <laughs> is though, is me, me over the, over the period of Friday afternoon leading up to uh, sort of Sunday night and Monday also yesterday. Um, what happened as you'll see, um, heavy snow on Friday night caused us to begin our transfer, our weekend transfers early. From that point then, we, were, we then became part of probably one of the most extraordinary situations that has ever been within the alpine industry. A similar situation happened three years ago and many people who have worked many years are trying at the moment to decide which was worse then or this one. Um, as I said, you're only just going to see me over the next 
for your eyes. It's blurry, it's dark, I'm using an iPad, I'm using my phone. It's not the greatest quality, but um, I think it's worth watching. Well, this has turned out to be an interesting day. Friday, typically, is in the afternoon. We have our transfer meeting. <coughs> um, instead, we're actually doing transfers. Um, the snow is really bad. Um, meter forecast. And the authorities basically are closing the roads after about 10 o'clock tonight. So we have a ton of flights that are leaving Chambry and, and uh, Geneva very early tomorrow morning. We've brought them forward. We're taking them down to the airports tonight. Logistically, it's, it's very uh, challenging. Okay, update number two. <laughs> Liminek, that was a... That was a that was an interesting one. Oh, yeah. So it's turned out to be a day of a lot of challenges, and it's only just beginning. It's now what about half seven, eight o'clock. Just seen off the first um, the first coach that's going. They're going to Geneva. The Chambry ones are later. Um, lots of. In this situation as a rep, my role essentially, you've got, first of all, it's information. If there's any delays or anything like that. And your second point is then obviously just getting people safely onto the buses. Now, last week, um, I was running feeders, which essentially is like, you're on a big bus, you stop at one point, you get a little bus that takes you to a place where the big bus can't go. We didn't have the little bus tonight. So we've had to walk people um, through the snow. Just taking a party of 12, big, different people. And do you know what? <laughs> they were absolutely, they're absolute legends they were, because that wasn't easy. But yeah, fair, fair play to them. So it's now back up to the hotel. Probably got, I think it's about an hour and a half until the the next coach comes um, and now my role really is just taking care of of them, making sure they've got updates that are there. Okay, next update. Uh, it's now oh, quarter to 11. So that's how long it took with uh, the next one. The bus, the conditions up in Val Torrens, because that's where the bus had to come from first was horrendous. Uh, what you have in Lehman Weir compared to Val Torrens is that if it's snowing in Val Torrens, sorry, if it's snowing in Lehman Weir, you can guarantee you've got the wind as well. Now, Lehman Weir typically doesn't get much wind, but it is very windy here. It's blizzards, it's drifting. So you can imagine what it's like up in Val Torrens, 10 times worse. Um, we had to walk customers down and we got one set on one bus and then there was a, a large amount that way. We had to go uh, wait. I was able to sweet talk the hotel opposite the bus depot um, and let them all s sit in the bar by the fire, um, which, you know, we finally got them off now. Uh, night doesn't end here, though. A uh, ton more of... Got one or two more buses to do, uh, so I'm just going to head back up now. So it's about a 10 minute walk, and we'll find out what's going on. It's now quarter to two. The final, the final lot are on the bus, they're off. Um, yeah. Uh, Wow, I'm off to bed, but I think this all starts again at five or six. Um, I'm going to keep documenting this. We'll see how it goes. It's um, 
half six, we're all ready to go again. Um, we've got feeder buses this morning, which is good, two of them. Um, but, uh, yeah. Um, today's likely to get worse before it gets better. It's still snowing massively badly outside. It's um, six, half six in the morning on Sunday. Um, this is still ongoing. Saturday, when we started, the snow was so bad it was impossible. Um, trying to get people down. People ended up needing to spend the night. Again, no, just, yeah, just spending an extra night. Um, arrivals couldn't get up. Car crash somewhere down near below the valley. And we're now up taking people who have literally, some of them have been sleeping anywhere and taking them to coaches to take them to the airport because flights were cancelled yesterday afternoon. I um, I don't really know how much I've slept over the last few, like the last 48 hours. I don't know what I'm running on. I think fumes are out of the question. It's pure, like, pure just don't go experience or something. I don't, I don't know. Just waiting for a call now to take the next people down to the, the Garu TA. I honestly don't, I honestly don't know <coughs> where I would be without Barocas. What is it now? It's uh, half eleven, half eleven, quarter to twelve. Non-stop just since, since I last recorded this. Um, <sighs> arrivals started coming through. And at the same time, trying to get departures off and trying to get lift passes to the arrivals. Those that, unfortunately, last night um, had to spend the night in, in really tough conditions. Um, and we've been running around, man. The feeder bus, I've not had the feeder bus. Uh, I didn't mention that that disappeared midway through yesterday, so... Been running, been walking. Um, I've just had to come in to try and freshen up again, but this is this is carrying on. Still, I'm um, getting through a lot of the lift passes. I think this is the last pie I've got to take down to the bus station now to get them to the airport for an afternoon flight. Um, and then, and then it's um, it's welcome meetings this evening, which is going to be really, really fun. I'm actually done. Thank God. I think it's quarter to six on New Year's Eve. I can I, like, like we had no idea that that was that. I think I'm actually done. Uh, there's a mini bus though that's down there for someone. No idea who. Speaking with the driver, he's waiting around for an hour. So I really, really. Cannot wait though for tonight. It's New Year. Uh, yeah. Um, this is either going to be the end of this vlog or part of it. Filming it on an iPad and iPhone was is not ideal, but there was no way I was going to be carrying my DSLR around in this. Every little time I had a break or whatever, you know, I just wanted to record this and. You can probably see how things have changed. Sorry, let's end it here. We'll deal with this tomorrow.